What is good, everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Lamar Griffin. I'm a creative based out of Denver, Colorado. And something that we have in Denver, Colorado is Voodoo Donuts. What will guests discover when they walk inside Voodoo Donut? It's a, an explosion of, uh, of just kind of craziness and wackiness. I'm not gonna eat these right now because that would be super rude. But if you've never had Voodoo, it is good as f I appreciate you guys stopping by my channel. If you are new here, uh, consider hitting that subscribe button. Uh, and if you like this video by the end, please hit that like button because it helps me out very much. Um, but if you're new to my channel, my name is Lamar Griffin. I'm a creative. I do photo and video. Uh, and I really pride myself on being an elite level hybrid shooter. All right, let's get right into it. Who's this video for? Uh, this video is for anyone that's like myself that is a content creator, especially uh, if you do hybrid photo and video and then also the main people that i want to talk to in this video is people that edit on final cut pro i have been editing on final cut pro ever since i started doing a uh, videography and i've loved it so i own the macbook m1 this is the cheapest version of the m1 macbook that you can get the 13 inch um the lowest amount of gigs uh this costs 1200 dollars, i believe or 12.99 so right here, I have the new 14-inch MacBook Pro. Again, this is the cheapest version that you can get of this computer. And in this video, I want to talk to you guys about why this could be the right option for you. Uh, because for me, I'll just, spoiler alert, this computer has done every single task that I needed it to do for the last, I've had it for four days, editing 8K, 4K, uh, ProRes, RAW, 422, 420, h.265 h.264 i've literally threw the kitchen sink at this computer for actual paid work and it hasn't let me down now again before i continue on in this video uh, i'm not going to be giving you guys any like crazy you know benchmarks and all that stuff i do want to show you guys some of uh, what the computer can do but uh, i'm not going to be getting all techie into it just because I, that's not my expertise and i don't want to try to make a video and be someone i'm not but if you own the macbook m1 this is just the regular m1 like i said this is the cheapest version that you can get this is a phenomenal computer there is no reason to upgrade to the 14 if this is checking all the boxes that you need and you're getting all your work done only reason i upgraded to the new 14 inch macbook over my 13 inch m1 is because I sh i'm starting to shoot a lot more 8k with my sony a1 uh, and before you guys start to try to ring me out to dry, um, I usually don't shoot AK just because the M1 wasn't really good at handling it. And then also I just didn't have reasons to shoot AK. Um, there, there was one reason that I had to shoot AK. Uh, I'm working on a documentary and I didn't have two cameras. So I shot AK knowing that we could punch in using that AK resolution. That's where that AK really, you know, came in handy and helped me out. But I do want to develop an 8K workflow. But I also work with NFL players and different brands and different companies doing promos, little short commercials. And I also do weddings. I do real estate. Uh, I do a lot of different things. And the Sony A1 allows me to do photo and video at the highest level. It's a very expensive camera. Uh, but for someone like me, uh, I saved for two years pretty much to get that Sony A1. So if you're watching this video and you're thinking about upgrading to the new 14-inch MacBook Pro or the 16-inch or the 14-inch with the Max chip, you got to ask yourself a few questions. Uh, I think the first question would be, uh, are you making money off of the laptop? So for myself, this is all I do for a living. I do photo, I do video for a living. That is how I provide for my family. That's all I've done. That's my business. So for me to buy this computer for $2,000, um, hopefully I can make that money back because this is a work tool, just like my M1 was. This is a work tool. This is a work tool. I need this computer to make money for a living. Um, if you are not someone that makes money off of your computer, but you still want a faster, more powerful computer, or you want to start making uh, money, you want to start your own business and you know start making money off of your photography or your videography, and you do have the money to spend to get the 14 inch base model, I would say do it for sure. Now, if you don't edit video, if you're just doing photography, um, you know, I'm, I'm not even gonna say graphic design because if you're doing graphic design, you should get the, you should definitely get the 14 and maybe the max. But if you're just doing photography and basic level stuff, this, this M1 base model, for $1,200 is a phenomenal computer. 
Uh, I want you to leave this video knowing that I didn't have any problems with this computer other than 8K. And then also it would drop frames every now and then when I had Lightroom open, uh, editing in Final Cut, you know, five or six different tabs open, listening to music. It would slow down, but I never had a problem with it to where I couldn't do exactly what I needed to. And even editing 8K on this basic level, M1 was easy once I did proxies. I just didn't want to make proxies all the time, but when I needed to, I did. But in summary, the reason I made this video is because I went out and watched every single video before buying this base model 14 inch, and I'm so happy that I made this purchase. This computer is, first of all, it's just nice to hold in the hand. So for me, having this SD card slot, this HDMI port is amazing. You got the MagSafe, two ports, headphone jack, SD card reader, USB-C reader, HDMI. Having this HDMI is so, so beneficial. Like right now, I'm recording this video and I'm also, I have my Sumo 19 monitor, director's monitor. I could plug straight into that and edit color grade. Uh, same thing if you buy an external monitor, you'll be able to plug right into it unless you wanna go USB-C to, you know, any other, any other way. But needless to say, this 14 inch computer is more powerful than this by a pretty good margin. All right, so I'm gonna end this video with showing you guys some example footage, uh, 8K footage shot out of a helicopter. If you're new to my channel, uh, go back and watch my last YouTube video where I pretty much had an epic fail uh, shooting out of a helicopter, trying to get uh, one shot from my documentary. Um, I, just, I just didn't do what I expected myself to do and I disappointed myself and I just needed to redeem myself. Plus I wanted the shot for my documentary. So I went again, I flew in the helicopter again, took my camera up, took my Ronin up uh, and I shot in 8K and I did, you know, a million times better than my first time. My first time I dropped the ball a little bit, but the second time I got in the helicopter, went up, shout out to the good people over at Tampa Fly Ventures, uh, especially Rachel. If you guys ever wanna go in a helicopter, call Rachel, Tampa Fly Ventures, tell her Lamar sent you. Um, I went up there, got some super good 8K footage. So right now I'm gonna take you guys into Final Cut with me. Uh, we're editing on the base model 14 inch uh, MacBook Pro. Here's the spec so you can check it out. Uh, this is exactly the computer I got, is the cheapest one you can get. Let's open up Final Cut right now. All right, so now that I got Final Cut open, I'm gonna edit this right off of the computer. We're not even gonna do it on the SSD. We're gonna open a new project, 8K helicopter test footage. Uh, we're just going to drop a few clips in. Like I said, I want to try to show you guys what it looks like. So this is me taking 8K footage and just dropping into a timeline and not having to create a proxy. Watch this. This is absolutely insane. For this computer to be able to do what it's doing right now is worth the price of admission. And this is 8K footage. I don't normally shoot with 8K, but again, this footage that you guys are seeing right now is me trying to get a shot for a documentary film uh, that I hope people get to see, you know, hopefully. This is a special circumstance. I'm in a helicopter shooting uh, on the Sony A1 in 8K on the 50 1.2. So this was, you know, this was a, a real good reason to actually use that 8K. Uh, right now, I'm gonna try to get this to about a minute. Let's see, let's do this get this over here and let's just put it at one minute. The base model MacBook Pro is more than enough for most things that you're gonna do. Now, once you get into the 8K, the heavy color grading, 
uh, you know, having multiple tabs open, that's when you might want to look to upgrade the CPU, GPU, all those other things that I have no clue about. But with this computer, this 14 inch base model, it can do everything. I wanted to show you guys that so you could see how the computer handled the footage. And also, uh, if you are thinking about going to buy one and you don't have any 8K footage, because I remember being on YouTube and watching, I remember watching Jared Poland do his helicopter video. I mean, this probably had to be like four or five years ago. And like, I'm watching YouTube, I'm watching Jared, and I'm like, damn, I wonder, like that'd be so cool to do that. Like, I'd probably never be able to do that. Now here I am with you guys showing you some helicopter footage of me doing exactly the same thing, only I think Jared was taking photos, I was taking video. A hey, shot to Jared Poland, fro nose, photo. Uh, I love that dude's channel. But uh, anyway, uh, it's crazy. It, it was really surreal to me to think that I had the opportunity to go up in a helicopter and get footage for a project that I'm making. And you just got to keep pushing in your filmmaking career. I'm going to leave a link down in the description uh, of this video for you guys where you can download an 8K Sony A1 video and you can mess around with the 8K footage on your computer if you get the new one or if you got the old one just to kind of see what 8K footage is like because I, you know, I don't know a place where you could just go get 8K footage. So hopefully that's helpful to you guys in some kind of way because again, I, I don't shoot 8K often. Like I can't say that I just shoot 8K all the time because sometimes it's really not necessary. So make sure you guys download that clip, mess around with it. Um, let me know what MacBook you guys are thinking about getting. Uh, go down in the comments, uh, let me know, actually, this, vi this video is almost over, so I'm about to go eat these. Uh, again, if you've ever been to Voodoo, go write Voodoo in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about this video. Uh, if you guys got any question about the 14-inch base model and kind of the things I'm doing with it, please feel free to leave it down in the comments. Uh, my channel's not that big, so I'm going to try to get back to everyone. Uh, if you like this video, if it was beneficial in any way, please consider hitting that subscribe button. If you like the video, hit that like button. I got a lot more video coming for you guys, so make sure you stay tuned on my channel. Peace.